Hey friends and supporters of Prairie Cell Paws and Apothecary, this is Erin Overlander, Certified Holistic Aromatherapist, Herbalist, and Holistic Health Expert coming to you today. I had the pleasure of recording a podcast interview yesterday with my friend Amanda Smith of Activated Living, and we talked about routines and tips for fall from traditional Chinese medicine and Ayurvedic medicine. So if you are not subscribed to the Activated Living podcast, I want you to go out to whatever your favorite podcaster is and um, podcast app and go ahead and get yourself subscribed to her podcast because she puts out a lot of very cool info and information. But we are headed into the fall solstice in a few days. And I was sitting here doing my meditation this morning and my gratitudes, and I wanted to show you why it's so important to take some time to be present. So I'm just going to turn this around for a moment and show you the beautiful view that I'm enjoying this morning. I'm taking some time to be present with nature, to take in some sunshine and fresh air, and to do my gratitude and some visualization. And what does that have to do with an Ayurvedic fall routine? Well, we're coming out of summer. Summer is a time of high, intense action and energy. We're going, going, going. We're doing, doing, doing. And that's really by design. And if we were still living a a subsistence lifestyle, (laughs) we would be, you know, working really hard outside to grow the food that we needed to start bringing in the harvest here at the end of summer. And then we're going into fall, which is a transition season between the two hot, hottest and coldest seasons of the year. So I think of summer and winter as the extremes and then spring and fall as the transition seasons. And what happens in the transition seasons is that we have a lot of ups and downs, a lot of backs and forths, even in our weather. So today I'm sitting outside in the wind. And the wind is one of the primary influences that we experience during those transitional seasons. How that translates to our mental, emotional, and spiritual life is that we may feel quite ungrounded during the fall and spring seasons, especially during the fall. And if we have a constitution that tends toward more anxiety, more stress, or if we're just feeling like our brain is in a million different places, the conditions of nature in fall will actually exacerbate that. So the recommendation is to develop a morning and evening routine that you can stick to with a lot of consistency that will help to counteract that sort of all over the place feeling that we often feel during this season of the year. So what you want to do is establish that morning and evening routine in a way that works for you. And if you are already feeling like your mornings are super full, you don't have time to sit outside and do your meditation, I get it. That was my life for many years. But what I usually found time for was to say some prayers, to express some gratitude, to feel gratitude in my body for all of the abundance that I had in my life, even in times that weren't very abundant, and then to visualize the outcomes that I wanted for my day, for my week, for my year, and for my life. So those are two pieces that I think that we all have time for, even if it's just while you're brushing your teeth, you're going to think of three things that you're really grateful for and feel that gratitude. And then from that place of gratitude, visualizing the positive outcomes that you want to see for yourself in that day, in that week, in that year, and for your life. So that's a quick tip for you on how to establish the first part of your Ayurvedic morning routine. Hopefully you'll be seeing more of me this weekend from New York Fit Fest on Long Beach. If you are on the East Coast, come out and see us at New York Fit Fest, and I'll see you guys next time.